is Capsiarum. Uh, my name is Min Kim, and I'm a PhD student in computer science and in the So here's my outline today uh, in sequence of what, cap what Capsiarum is and what, why it is important and how it can, where it can be used. And finally, I mentioned the conclusion. So uh, Wednesday, July 19th, uh, in 2000, Eric Brewer gave a keynote speech, which has had a huge impact on internet scale business. And uh, he mentioned, uh, he mentioned, I mean, during his speech, he mentioned like there is a special relationship among consistency and availability and partition tolerance. He, what he said is, uh, if you ha in the distributed system where message can be lost, if you want to high availability, then you cannot have consistency at that moment. That's what uh, Eric Brewer's conjecture. And after two years in 2002, the Seth Gilbert and Nance Lynch formally proved the conjectures, uh, Brewer's conjecture. And this is how the cap serum was born. And people start using this cap serum when they design the system. So what cap theorem is? According to the cap theorem, it is impossible for a distributed system to provide availability, consistency, and partition tolerance at the same time. In other words, the distributed system can satisfy any of two qualities, but not three all of them at the same time. So system is consistent uh, if and only if all nodes see the same data at the same time. And also, system is available if there is a guarantee that every request re receives the response. And system is partition tolerant, the system will allow the message loss. So I'll give some example for each quality. This is the basic scenario. So I'll use these pictures many times uh, to explain each quality. Basically, there are two nodes which is separated by the network. And both nodes share their data V, which whose initial value is V0. And A and B is, the, is called algorithm or pro, pro, process. And they, what, they can request read or write operation on the data. So let's make one simple scenario. A process try to write request on the data, which is value one, and then because both nodes share the because both nodes should uh, should share the data, the node one send a message to node two to update the current of data value, and then finally the B try to read the request on this data, which is we want. It's a simple, right? Then for the consistency. Uh, Quality. Let's assume all requests are successful, and this message is delivered successfully. Then, before a uh, process try to write operation, this node and this node see the same data, which is V zero. And when B process read the uh, current data value, uh, both nodes see the same data, which is V one. So I can say the system is consistency, consistent because all nodes, which is uh, node one and node two, see the same data at the same time. How about the inconsistent? Uh, let's say the network partition happens for the some reason, which means this update message is not delivered from node one to node two. Then in the third step, uh, when B process request read operation because this node doesn't know the value is updated. So in this case, B will read the V0 value, but A uh, or node 1 will read V1. So in this step, both nodes see the different data at the same time. So I can say this system is not, is not consistent. Availability. So uh, like 
when when a process requests the right operation, and then I mean basically assume all requests successful, then for the right operation a process respond for this request right, and then b uh, process when b process read I mean, try to read the current value for the read request is the which is v one value. So in by I by assumption I can say this system is available because there is a guarantee that every request in this side for write request in this side read request received or response. But, uh, let's say there is a message loss between node and node one and node two. Then uh, there is of course as I told you before there is a consistency problem. But still when B process try to read the current value is served with you. I can say this system is still available because this request, I mean this for the this request, the system responds. But how, how about that? There is a let's say there is a policy that if there is a consistency problem, then the system will not, which means the system will not provide any response to the request. Then if if there is a message loss and there is a consistency problem, then when we request some like a read operation, then the node will not serve any response. Then by the definition of availability, this system is not available. Uh, partition tolerance. So according to the two authors which uh, who proved the uh, Brewer's conjecture, they define a partition tolerance as uh, the system will be allowed to lose the message, which means if the system has, I mean, guaranteed partition tolerance, then they can be basically uh, distributed based on the network. But remember, the message can be lost. But if the system does not guarantee the partition tolerance, then because the message I mean, the system will not allow the message loss. So both components, both components can be centralized. Is it clear? So according to the CAPS theorem, the distrib distributed system cannot have all three qualities at the same time. So uh, two, two authors uh, basically suggest the three possible solutions for the problem. Uh, one is to guarantee the consistency and partition tolerance. And another is guarantee consistency and availability. And the other is uh, guarantee availability and partition tolerance. There are three possibilities for solution. Um, so as I mentioned before, this system consider the, cons I, uh, take care of the consistency. In a, uh, instead of availability. So the system, I mean, when, because of the message loss, if there is a consist consistency problem occurs, then system will be locked until this consistency problem is uh, resolved. So when the uh, process requests the read operation, the B process will not any response. Let's think about the distrib distributed locking system. So basically, as I told you, I mean, the, if there is a consistency problem, bas basically the system will be locked. Uh, think about the for the, uh, the system guarantees consistency and availability. Think about the traditional relational database management system. Uh, everything, I mean, like based on the exit, which is the relational database management system is designed based on the exit, which is atomic, consistency, isolate, isolated, and durable. So this, this property guarantee the consistency. And uh, also in the, like, in the traditional database system, they also focus on the uh, availability instead of like a partition tolerance, which means uh, they, because uh, 
before, I mean, the capsulum occurs, uh, capsulum emerges, then uh, they don't know. Uh, uh, anyway, the, the relational database system uh, focuses on the consistency and availability. How about the uh, availability and partitions? Uh, so if uh, there is a message loss between two nodes, then they still, I mean, they care more about the availability instead of consistency. So even though there is a consistency problem occurs, the system still want to serve uh, for the some like request. So even though they see the two different value, but the system will serve the, uh, the I mean, response for the request. So think about the uh, social network system. Have you seen, when you're doing the Facebook, have you seen that like after you write some like message on your friend Facebook, but it, what you see like a different message. Have you seen that? So that means like even though you request, I mean for the request the service, he, the system response. But so basically the Facebook more care about the availability instead of consistency. So why this capsulum is important? Uh, during the business analysis or uh, system analysis, it is Im really important to know which system quality are required for the system based on the system environment. Uh, if you are software architect or like engineer, you should know what uh, system quality, such as availability, consistency, interoperability, and scalability, etc. But also, you should know their relationship. For especially when uh, trade off, trade off like a decision point. For example, when you increase the security stuff, I'm uh, security quality in your system, the performance will be down. So this is the trade off uh, situation. So in this sense, the capsulum provides the three qualities relationship. So when you design the system based on this three quality, it helps. So, uh, where the capsulum is used? So, based on, I mean, in the traditional uh, role, uh, uh, the relational database management system, they consider only uh, consistency and availability. But the, this system have an issue for scalability. That's why the not only SQL is emerging. So basically, it's, uh, it's try to solve the like the scalability issue. So that means the no SQL uh, has a priority for the partition problems. So if you according to the cap theorem, if you have this quality, then you cannot have both quality, right? So in case of Amazon and Facebook, they choose availability first. And then in case of Google and Apache, because they have big data and consistency issue is really important. That's why they choose consistency. So today, uh, I talk about what capsulum is and why the capsulum is important and where it can be used. So basically, the capsulum is that it is impossible to have all three qualities at the same time, and it helps. I mean, it helps the system designer when he, they design the system. That's why it is important to know the, what capsulum is. And the capsulum is uh, can be used in many areas, like the data storage system, like when you arrange the like the network system, yeah, etc. So this is my presentation, and do you have any question?